You want to get the Cave Horror Project mod pack, and honestly, I see why. It's a really, really cool mod pack that is kind of a, well, horror mod pack in Minecraft. It adds in a few different entities, including the Harrowbrine, that you can be basically scared by, as well as some really cool other kind of survival elements and things like that. So, overall, an amazing, amazing mod pack that uh, you want to get in Minecraft, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And in order to get Cave Horror Project, you're going to need the Curse Forge Launcher. To download the Curse Forge Launcher, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below and this is our in-depth guide on getting curse forge it goes over everything you need to know we're gonna be going over the basics in this video but if you want to like in-depth look at the launcher with like how to change settings and install custom mods and things like that this guide here will help you do that as well as the text guide down below but once you're here go ahead and click on the download curse forge button here to go to curse forge's official download page on this page you want to go ahead and click download standalone and when you do you may need to keep or save the file but it's hundred percent safe to do that while this is downloading, how to mushroom our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ says SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Cave Horror Project server in just a few minutes. Yeah, you heard that right. With just a few clicks using our one click mod pack installer, you can install the Cave Horror Project and start playing it with your friends. It's super quick and easy to get it up and running. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So, if you want to start a Minecraft server and play Cave Horror Project or any other Minecraft mod pack you want with your friends, do it the simple way. The first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. Installing CurseForge now that it's downloaded is actually super easy. All you've got to do is minimize your browser and find the CurseForge file that you downloaded. Most likely it's going to be in your downloads folder here, as you can see it is for me. And then once you've found it, just double click on it. And then it installs just like any other app. As you can see, we have the CurseForge Windows installer here. Click on Next. Go ahead and agree to their terms of service, assuming that you do. Click on next again, and now it's going to download and install. It's that quick and easy. Once it's installed, you'll get a desktop icon, and it should go ahead and open up right like this. If it doesn't open up, you can always use that desktop icon to open it. Now, there is a little intro here that can be helpful to go through. Some different stuff about, you know, how it supports my creators, which is amazing. Love to see that. And some of the other stuff that you can do with CurseForge. And then finally, it'll say get started here. It'll start to get everything ready, but you still need to make sure Minecraft is ready. Luckily, this is done within the CurseForge app as well. As you can see, it says Minecraft here, but it's not installed. Go ahead and click on it, and then make sure Standard is checked, and then click Continue. And now, it's going to get everything ready for your Minecraft mod packs. You don't have to do anything else from here in order to get Minecraft ready to go with the CurseForge launcher. Once Minecraft's ready within CurseForge, it's super easy to install the Cave Horror Project. Just come up here to the top and search for Cave Horror. Horror. Now you may need to switch this from all here to simply mod packs and there it is cave horror project Click the install button there and it will go ahead and download and install the cave horror project mod pack Now you can sit here and wait and eventually a play button will appear But you can also go back to the my mod packs tab This is typically where you're gonna be playing the mod pack from so I always like to do things here while this is setting up I do want to mention you might need to add more RAM to curse forge because occasionally mod packs like cave horror project Will need more RAM and can crash if they don't have enough RAM to do this come to a settings down here in the bottom left and then click on Minecraft. You can change a lot of different settings here. For example, you can change your resolution as well as other things, but specifically your RAM is down here under allocated memory. By default, it'll probably be four gigabytes or 4,000 megabytes. A lot of mod packs will need 6,000. Some will even need 10,000 megabytes in order to perform well. K4 project usually doesn't need that much, but if you have the RAM for it on your computer, go ahead and add it here. Never have more than half the RAM your computer has to Minecraft. With that out of the way though, we can go ahead and close out of this and on the My Mod Packs tab, Cave Horror Project is about to finish installing. Once it's finished, hover over it and click the play button. Now the Minecraft launcher is going to open. This is the normal Minecraft launcher that you always use to play Minecraft. You may need to log into the Minecraft launcher. That's perfectly normal for the first time you set up CurseForge. So don't panic or anything like that if it does prompt you to open up and like sign into the Minecraft launcher when you play the mod pack. As you can see here, it's actually prompting me to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And once you've logged in, this is the Minecraft launcher that we're all familiar with. You may be on the news tab here and want to select Minecraft Java Edition on the left hand side and once you do you'll see Cave Horror Project. Right there it is. Go ahead and click play. Click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft and now Minecraft will open up with the Cave Horror Project installed and ready to play. And there's no denying it is installed because right here in the main menu Cave Horror Project is there. I also went ahead and set up on Simple Game Hosting a server just to show that you can easily get this up and running and play with your friends. Double click on the server there and it's going to join right on in just like any other Minecraft server like Hypixel or something like that. And we will be able to play with your friends. You can send your friends the IP. They can download the mod pack using this video and join right 
right on in as well. As you can see, the fog is, is coming over us. We've got security craft here, and we've got the, uh, let's see, the cassette the safety instructions to get things going. Amazing mod pack here. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section down below. And what other mod packs would you like to see us do videos on? We'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.